Giving you a live look from Frisco now. You can see a little bit of wind out there, some overcast skies. Overall, it's calm right now, but that situation is going to be changing this afternoon. So let's get over to Domenis because we are talking about really all modes of severe weather on the table today. Absolutely. We need to be weather aware as we go through the day and have a plan of action, Brooks. So let's talk about the forecast as we take a live view outside over downtown Dallas. We do have, well, at least temperatures in the 50s and 60s, and we have severe thunderstorms that we're watching. So today is a weather alert. Windy and cooler for tomorrow after a front passes with temperatures in the low 60s. Here's that hourly forecast. If you have any errands to run or just getting prepared for the afternoon and evening, the next few hours I think will be okay. But as we push a bit deeper into the afternoon and especially this evening, you'll see those icons there and look at the rain chances at 90% by 4, 90% by 7 o'clock this evening. We're tracking a potent weather system with wind damage, large hail, and isolated tornadoes all in the mix. Some heavy rain also possible. So let's look at Futurecast as we push things in motion. Yeah, there could be some showers to our south and southeast, but as we head toward noon, not much happening in the Metroplex. Things start to go downhill in our forecast, most likely after 1 or 2 o'clock. I'm going to be watching to see whether or not we have any supercells forming south of I-20 moving northward out of central Texas. We'll see whether or not we have enough instability there southward to bring some of those storms northward. If they do happen, we can see a lot of these thunderstorms developing ahead of the main line. That's the cold front right there. These showers and storms could though impact portions of the Metroplex around 2 33, 4 o'clock this afternoon as this line starts getting its act together and it elongates just to the west. Okay, that's toward 415. Those thunderstorms are to our northeast. These are coming in from the west. It's likely going to be a one two punch for some of us. So we might see another round, most likely, in our forecast as we head toward 5 o'clock this afternoon. Affecting the Metroplex there, Fort Worth, there goes Denton. Also, areas to the west toward Parker County, areas in Wise County, seeing some of those thunderstorms first before they move eastward. And you'll see toward about 5 30, 6 o'clock this evening, we're dealing with showers and thunderstorms toward Sherman, McKinney areas in Dallas County, also toward Johnson County and even Waxahachie there in Ellis County. That leading edge uh, over toward areas near Hunt County, so for Springs there, and then you'll also notice areas toward even, how about Corsicana? More wet weather to the south toward Hillsboro can it contain some thunderstorms. We need to watch out for isolated tornadoes today, damaging wind gusts, but also some large hail. And then once we go through, I would say past the 11 o'clock hour, you'll notice most of those thunderstorms are to our east. We'll see some wraparound moisture later tonight, but most of that will mainly be in the form of rain. Here's that timing 3 to 6 to the west. That's well west of I-35 toward the Metroplex at 5 to 8 and then farther east about 7 to 10 with that main line. Again, some cells could form ahead of the main line, but we'll need to watch these. This is what's happening right now on First Alert Radar toward Hamilton County trying to push to the northeast. So we need to watch out for some of those thunderstorms. And of course, we'll be keeping an eye on your First Alert forecast throughout the day. How about the windy conditions on your First Alert 7 day? Tomorrow, low 60s, mid 70s for Saturday and Sunday. We'll see sunshine 81 for Monday.